who was actually breaking up the fight. Uh, I don't know all the details. I have not seen the actual shooting. I told you guys I avoid that, but I read enough accounts of it from enough different sources that I can pretty much gauge what happened. I don't have to see it uh, and re-traumatize myself it over and over again to the point where I was becoming uh, desensitized to it. I refuse uh, to do that to myself. I refuse to mar my humanity at that level. Um, so what I can tell you is my problem and what I'm speaking on now is this proclivity of black people to find justifications for unjustifiable behavior. You, you'll never find a white person saying that a, a white person, another white person deserved to be shot because they were resisting arrest or because they were being uh, belligerent or non-compliant. Um, it's only when it happens to us that we were supposed to have this unbelievable ability to just fall in line and totally set our emotions aside and de-escalate a situation that actually police officers are, are actually supposed to be more trained uh, and prepare to de-escalate. You know, we're expecting more professionalism and expertise from citizens than we are from trained professionals. Well, you can expect that when I think the average police academy is only six months. So you can expect that. But you've also got to look at the manner in which black life is dehumanized. The black existence is dehumanized. That is something that we've got to be uh, immensely cognizant of. Cognizant of, and so, excuse me. And so uh, that's something that we really and truly have to be aware of. 
my thing is, again, I, I want to see us be more in a line and on code. No, I'm not saying what took place there is something that I would want to see as a part of our community, two women fighting for whatever reason they're fighting for. I don't want to see that. But what for whatever reason, uh, it happened. And so we've got to understand that this here is ridiculous. Um, up here trying to get in and uh, grab some things and everybody's freaking out, driving like they don't have any sense. So with all that being said, look, we've got to do a better job of standing on code and being on code and saying what's wrong. There's absolutely no reason when you have that many officers watching this man walk around his car to get in on his driver's side for what he says to check on his young children who had become upset, as you can possibly imagine. And they walk, he walks by several cops who could have easily grabbed him. Uh, he was clearly unarmed. And he's opening the door to check on his kids and he shot seven times in the back. There's no, you don't have to have a clean record. You don't have to have a college degree. You don't have to be an A student. You don't have to be this unbelievably phenomenal husband for that to be wrong. There's this idea that the only time we get to complain is that the student that was harmed was an A student on his way to Harvard, that the person was this unbelievable husband that passed out clothes and shoes in the community, that uh, all these things have to be, it has to be an absolutely unblemished, phenomenal black man before we can sit up and say it was wrong. No, if he didn't pose a threat and you could have subdued him in any other way than shooting him in his back, that's what should have been done. The same way that you handle white men that are thrusting at you with knives and pointing guns at you and you miraculously find a way to not harm them. That is exactly the way I want you to treat black men and black women. Period, point blank. There's no other way uh, 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 around it. I don't want to talk about what he did wrong. Not listening or being compliant is not punishable by death. Cops were never meant to serve as judge, jury, and executioner. Cops are simply there to uh, carry out a, a protect and serve mechanism within the system, which we never get to see the protect or serve part of it. We get policed, we get arrested. Rarely do we get protected without somebody else getting armed. So that's my thing. That's what I want to talk about now. Obviously, I'll check back in a little bit more on uh, some more elements and components of this. There's this, uh, the presence of Crump, attorney Benjamin Crump, I think is his name. I have issues with how that plays out each and every time he and a couple of other these other notable uh, attorneys appear and do things. We've got to stop putting a price tag on black life and then wanting people to treat us valuable. If they can afford the price tag, they take the life. That can't be a, a price tag outside of a life. You take a life, you repay with a life, or you don't take the life. That's that simple. You know, we've got to stop settle, getting settlements. Yeah, everybody's about securing the bag, but the bag doesn't change what's happened to the individual that lost their lives. It doesn't change the traumatic impact that it's had on their loved ones and anyone else who actually saw it happen. We've got to understand the, the psychological dynamic at play here. Uh, I'm going to get on all that stuff before it's all over, but as of now, I'm going to get out of here and get in and get the things we need for the house. You guys have a great day. I'm out. Peace. Hello everybody, Dr. Rick Wallace here, dropping in with a little special announcement. For those who have followed me for any stretch of time, you know outside of the businesses that I run, like Myriad Business Solutions, the Visionetics Institute, Odyssey Media Group, I also do a great deal of work inside of the inner city communities uh, in Houston, Dallas, and other areas. 
uh, I'm asking now as we push a fundraiser that you support what the Odyssey Project is doing in the inner cities, uh, especially with programs like Black Men Lead, which is a rite of passage uh, initiative, and Restoring Ghetto for, Ghetto's Forgotten Daughters, which is a program focused on helping young girls, but boys as well, suffering from childhood sexual abuse, uh, rape, molestation, domestic abuse, uh, absentee fatherhood, and so many other things. Uh, the information will be in the box. Thank you.